<laughs> well, I'm back at the charging station for the third time in a one-week test of this Volkswagen e-Golf. Uh, that's because the range on this e-Golf is only 200 kilometers, which is uh, about half of what you get with a Chevy Bolt. That aside, though, in the big picture, Volkswagen plans to electrify its fleet globally. By 2025, VW plans to introduce 30 all-new, all-electric vehicles. That means uh, by that time, one in four Volkswagens globally will be all-electric. By 2030, Volkswagen uh, plans to sell somewhere between two and three million all-electric vehicles around the world. Wow, that's a big goal. Volkswagen has Tesla in its sights. The idea here is to introduce a range of Volkswagen electric vehicles, all electric vehicles that compete against Tesla on price, on performance, on technology, on design in every model segment between the Tesla Model 3 and the Model S. Where the e-Golf really falls down is on the design. Now remember, this is an old design, and there is a all-new e-Golf coming, uh, expected for 2019. So what we're left with here is kind of a retro look, and it's, it's just not competitive from a design perspective with the Chevy Bolt, or, or certainly not the Tesla Model 3. What I'll tell you about this e-Golf is that well, it's a bit of an also ran in the electrified vehicle segment. Uh, well, it, it shows, uh, and shows mostly in the battery range. 200 kilometers, just not enough. But the performance is terrific. There's lots of torque. It's very responsive. Uh, you really can't tell there's any weight issues, even though you're carrying a big, heavy battery pack. And the overall responses, the steering, the braking, are, are really smooth and really professional, really refined. If you're careful, you might get 200 kilometers per charge. An 80% recharge takes less than an hour from a public DC charging station. Aside from the electric piece, the, uh, this, this Golf is totally unremarkable, right down to the dashboard lifted from the regular gasoline Golf and the optional 9.2 inch touchscreen. We can expect VW to get more serious about EVs starting with the second generation e-Golf due in 2019. The new e-Golf will be one of the first vehicles to ride on VW's MEB battery electric compact architecture. Until then, VW has this and it's not quite enough to inspire great confidence in VW's great EV plan. The one to take on Tesla Look, uh, Volkswagen has uh, an electrified future. In, uh, uh, and Volkswagen has this plan to, well, the, the, the uh, part of it is that Tesla, Tesla, the, uh, look, Volkswagen plans to introduce 30 all new, all electric vehicles by 2025, which means 